previously on Home and Away. I'll never love you. I don't love you. It'll only be student and teacher. So you don't even want to be my friend? Not at this point in your life. I don't want to feel like this anymore, Charlie. Can you please help me? Leaving her there at the clinic on her own, it was awful. Look, I know this is hard, but taking her there was the right thing to do. I hope so. Seriously, I know that betting isn't a surefire way to come up with the money, but I haven't seen you guys come up with any better solutions. Tell Mum and Dad what you did, why their restaurant is at risk, and ask them for the money. I'm not going to... Ruby! Hey, how you going? Welcome Hi. back. Hi. I'm good. How are you feeling? Uh, pretty good, considering I just got out of rehab. I feel like a bit of a movie star. I should have, like, dark glasses on or something. Oh, you look great. How's Paulie going? Oh, he's OK. Well, he's stressed and annoyed, calling everyone he knows, trying to get some money. Well, family's great, isn't it? Your brother's in debt and your daughter's just got out of rehab. I hope you don't mind me keeping Ruby up to date. That was a long car ride. Well, I don't think we're going to have to worry about it for too much longer. I think he's leaving town pretty soon. Really? Yeah, but I don't really want to talk about it at the moment, and I can't, because I've got to get back to work. But um, do you guys want to come to the restaurant for dinner tonight? Um, I think we're just going to have a quiet one. Thank you, though. No worries. Yeah. Good to see you. Okay. <gasps> Ruby! Hi! Hey! Oh, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. A bit exhausted from the car ride, but happy to be yeah. back. Oh, well, anything you want on the house. Oh, well, as long as it doesn't come in a plastic container with my name on it, I really don't care what it is. <laughs> Okay. I'll have whatever she's having. Done. All right, be right out. Thanks, Leah. See, there are that many people fussing over you. Uh, no, just two out of two so far. Hey, Ruby, how are you going? I'm great, thanks. I'm getting sick of my own response. <laughs> okay, I'm sure there's not going to be too many more. Okay, I think. Ruby, oh, oh my God, it's so good to see you, darling. Oh. <laughs> are you feeling any better? I'm great, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, love, how are all the people there? Did you talk to them much? A bit. We had a few group sessions, but there was no one I really connected with. Well, if you were lonely, you should have called me more. It's OK, I had my iPod. Music kept me sane. Ah, oh, actually, that reminds me. There's a box of your CDs and old sheep music in your room. If you want to swing by and pick them up, darl, any time. Okay. I would have given them to Liam, of course, but who knows when he'll be back in town. That's assuming he ever does come back to town. I'm back into... What, sorry, what was that? Oh, love, I'm sorry. I, I assumed he would have rung and told you. Mind you, I only know through Bianco found out from Gina. But apparently he chucked in his teaching job and uh, headed back to the city. Here we go. Two chicken salads with no one's name on it. Thanks, Leah. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm really sorry. Can we take this home? Uh, yeah, yeah. I feel like being at home, too. Is that all right if we get them takeaway? We've just hit a bit of a wall. Yeah, no, uh, of course. That's um, fine. It's... this morning. Any time. I was going to ask Parlo, but I think he's still a bit annoyed at me for pulling out of betting at the races. Is he still leaving tomorrow? Yep. Has he had any other ideas about how to get the money? No. So I don't know what he's going to do. Hey, it's not your problem. I know, but even after everything. Have you thought more about calling your parents? Well, yeah, but every time I do, I back out, put the phone down. I can't do it to me. If he's going to call him, he's got to do it himself. Well, he's not going to do that. Well, he might. We both know he won't. I felt like a mother sending their child off to school for the first day. Mm, but the sooner Ruby gets stuck back into her schoolwork, the better. It'll give her a sense of purpose. I know, I'm just... You're just worrying like a typical parent. And I don't mean this to sound bad, but I think it's a good thing that Liam isn't going to be there either. That means that Ruby doesn't need to bump into it. Well, yeah, I thought that too. But then last night, she was just so quiet and she was looking through her music. I mean, what if him leaving is actually harder on you? He's there one minute and then the next minute he's gone. Yeah, I don't know what's worse. That or unrequited love. Yeah, that's true. It's a lot different to break up with someone than have them leave without any closure. Yeah, but that's what friends are for, aren't they? Get us through the rough patches. And Dal Ruby has stacks of friends at yeah. school. She's going to be fine. Hey. How's it going? Uh, I've been better. How are you? Things are okay. It's 
So you heard about Liam leaving? Yeah. Lisa was kind enough to call Mum while I was driving out of town. But she must be pretty stressed not having a music teacher. She's not too happy about it, but she's, well, got other things to stress about. How are you dealing with it? Are you okay? I'm not great. Um, but I'm not going to start drinking that or anything, so it's okay. That's a good thing. <laughs> Love sucks sometimes, eh? Hey? Yeah, I just don't understand how someone that you can care for so much can just suddenly leave your life. What do you mean? Well, let me know if there's anything I can do for him or Gina. Thanks, mate. Uh, in the meantime, I might have to miss a shift or two at the bar. I'll have to cover for John some of his surf club work. Yeah, no problems at all. I'm all packed. I'll be out of your head first thing in the morning. Where are you going to go? I don't know. I can't go home until I find the money to pay off the loan. Why don't you just ask Mum and Dad? Don't start this again. Look, you don't have any other choice. You know, Charlie thinks he thinks... I don't could... care what Charlie thinks. Man, it's all about her, isn't it? Charlie thinks that we shouldn't gamble. Charlie thinks that I should call home. Don't you have a mind of your own? You are out of line. No, you are. I'm your brother. She's just some chick you're hanging around with. She is more to me than just some chick. Well, even so, we're blood. Are you really going to side with her over me? You're the one that took this loan. You need to take responsibility for that. Did Charlie say that too? Yeah, I know it's been a long time. Um, we need to talk about power. What do you want? I'm not giving you any money. Oh, wow. Tell me something I don't know. But I do want to help you. Which is why I rang Mum and Dad and told them about this whole mess. What? Why did you do that? I also told them about the restaurant. How you started the fight and let me take the blame for it. Oh, my God. Did you tell them that I killed Santa Claus too? <sighs> Angelo, what have I ever done that was so bad to you? You need to learn that there are consequences for the things that you do. I'm not going to cover for you for the rest of my life. I thought I could depend on you, Angelo. Obviously, I can't. for your mess, all the times you've caused trouble for yourself and for everyone else for years, and now you have the nerve to try and make me feel guilty. Should have called Mum and Dad. No, I should have called them earlier. Oh, great, it's Mum. What do I say? I'm not covering for you anymore. Answer it. Hi, Mum. Yeah, we need to talk. Hi. Hey. Hey, thanks for before. You were really sweet. Well, I hope you're feeling better now. Yeah, well, Charlie keeps telling me to use my new tactics to get through the day, but I actually think that you're what helped me the most. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I've got to go now. Sorry, I'm boring you with all my problems, aren't I? Uh, no, not at all. It's just I've got some stuff I need to do. I'll see you tomorrow, OK? OK. Next time on Home and... So this is about revenge, is it? You want me to feel the same humiliation that you did when you took the blame? It is not Angelo's fault. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't see it that way. You just couldn't handle the fact that Mum and Dad always preferred me over you. What is wrong with you? Hey, 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 hey! Huh? Enough! You get out before I call the cops! Missed an episode of Home and Away? Or just want to see it again? Catch up online at Yahoo 7 TV. Just click plus seven.